yo what is going on guys welcome back to the channel man it's your boy and we are mere moments away from epic 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 gamer moments so check this out man the king in black no celebration has begun we're only a few moments away from being able to play with Null in Marvel Future Fight. It's going to be crazy. He looks like he can, he's going to have a pretty good kit, some interesting effects, and a couple things that we discussed on stream actually uh, turned out to be true. So let's talk about it, man. First and foremost, we're going to talk about the events. Then we'll take a look at Null's skill set on paper. And uh, yeah, let me know how you guys are personally feeling about the King in Black. So right here goes greetings, agents. This is CM Fragment, as usual, Null, the King in Black, and Sif, the warrior goddess, has returned with more powers to join the battle soon. Please welcome these two heroes. Now, don't get it twisted. Obviously, Null is not going to be a hero. It's just a play on words. It's how they basically speak about new characters or what have you. Right? But anyways, and participate in the events that will help upgrade them. Don't miss out on a chance to equip useful custom gears and receive tier 3 growth materials uh, so we have the king in black celebration we just go ahead and now uh, we scroll down here we see the man himself the legend the god <laughs> the king in black so this actually is pretty good all uniform sale all right always nice to get those for those of you guys who want to buy uniforms that's pretty dope we have a seven day check-in event for null it's not that great to be honest 50 50 ccf nice 100 titan component pack very 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 much so welcome i'll take that any day of the week so that is pretty good to me the rest of these standard stuff from check-ins all right but 50 ccf and 100 titan component packs yes please i'm definitely gonna pick up titan component packs from the uh event shop that we have right now instead of picking up the tier two ticket personally that's what i'm gonna do anyways we have this uh ctp reforging bs coming back um i don't care about it 14 percent chance no thank you miss me with that right 86 percent chance of failure I i'm good i'm good off that dog anyways gold make gold mission shop is pretty good you spend gold, you get 100 bios, you get some black antimatter, that's cool. They should start spicing this up because, let's be honest, everybody's playing Dimension Missions. Why the hell would you need Dimension Debris, bro? I have like 5 million of those things. Probably more at this point. I, I keep selling them. Anyways, I have the Energy Bonus Mission, and again, they're giving away Dimension Debris. Whatever, it's free shit. I shouldn't be complaining, right? It's free shit. Even if it's useless, it's still free. Anyways, we have the Platinum Gift Box here. Hopefully, um, we get some like uh, 6 star Mega Rank Up tickets. <laughs> I right, personally that's what I'd hope for or Titan component pack and then we have um the custom gear unequipping thing for 50 percent um okay cool uh, I could probably use that I guess to maybe uh take off a couple CTPs but whatever man it's still a rip it is still a rip and then we have Sif you know, there's an event for ranking her up and you can get some rewards from that so moving on to the more I guess appealing part of this patch we have null and yes my friends he's a native tier 3 hero so this is going to show us exactly how native tier 3 characters are going to come to the game moving forward maybe not all of them are going to be boss types like no right but i think they should all come in a similar fashion personally right i wouldn't like to see um tier 3 natives being sold in the shop <clears throat> adam warlock <clears throat> dormammu <clears throat> odin <clears throat> you know Anyways, but uh, I think what they did with Null here, excuse me, Mouse doing a bunch of weird stuff. Anyways, I think what they did with Null in terms of making him acquirable through actual game content is really good. Some players are going to be really upset that, yo, I can't beat Null, so I, can, I can't get him. But again, it's content that you have to build up to, right? If you're new or if you've just been slacking off on the game, you can't expect to get the, the, the high-end character without actually being able to clear high-end content, right? So, it's just like when Thanos and the Black Order came to the game, they were really, really OP and they were really difficult, but people worked up to that, they got those characters, and where are they now, right? They're not really that good. But anyways, the point is, if you can't beat no, no reason to be salty, work on your account. I think this is a good way. This is a free-to-play friendly way, all right? 
So hopefully they keep doing this and we don't see too many of these tier three natives being super OP and end up in a shop costing you like 50 million crystals, okay? Anyways, about the patch. So the patch is scheduled to be completed on the 20th, okay? The 20th, 4 a.m. The patch will be applied in waves. So the patch application time may vary for people. Just keep that in mind, okay? Not everybody's gonna get the patch at the exact same time. We already talked about Null being acquired from the Legend difficulty. You acquire him at one star with 10 biometrics really really good hopefully the drop rate from 1 to 99 is the same you can get 10 bios for him are you gonna get a, a guaranteed bio for every clear that would be nice so basically it would only take you two days if not who knows your rng might be really bad and you have to take like a week or two weeks to get him but hopefully it's a guaranteed drop i don't think they said anything about it being a guaranteed drop right it just says um if you're ready to harness this mighty power prepared for the challenge yeah, yeah. with various series yeah so it, it didn't say anything about whether it's a guaranteed drop i'm going to be doing my null clears live today so we, we'll find out we'll find out if we get five bios for five clears and then you guys let me know in the chat um if you get five for five clears then we'll know whether it's a guaranteed drop or not but either way he's acquirable from war boss legend really good leadership increased symbiotic allies or symbiote allies by 60 percent that's actually pretty good. 60% all attack for like Carnage, Venom, all those guys. That's pretty good and it's very fitting, all right? Let me actually pull up this thing so it's easier. There we go. So it's easier on the eyes. Close up action, you feel me? So 60% all attack. Buff removal effect does not remove once the effect is applied. So activation rate when HP is below 5%. So when he's almost dead, right? Applies to self, gains guard break immunity, HP does not drop to one or below for six seconds, and then recovers 75% of his max HP after six seconds. So basically it's a revive, but it's just worded differently. So essentially he becomes immortal for six seconds, and then his HP just jumps back up to 75%. However, unlike characters like Jean Grey, Silver Surfer, Dormammu, or whatever, right? His cooldown time is only two minutes. These type of revives are usually five minutes, which is the duration of most battles. So this can actually activate up to two times, depending on when you die in a normal fight, like um, in War Boss or Shadowland or PvP even. But well, PvP is like three minutes, right? Timeline? Yeah, I run that. But it's actually a pretty interesting way of um, wording the revive. And because it says um, the buff cannot be removed once it's applied, it means like um, Doctor Strange, Apocalypse, Thanos, characters that have buff removal that can strip um, all your buffs and stuff or the purifying wind in um, War Boss cannot affect him. So he's just completely immortal for six seconds. So that's pretty cool. That immediately makes him viable for PvP, right? <laughs> that immediately makes him viable for PvP. And then we have the Dark domination okay increases chain hit damage by 20 percent increases additional pierce that yo go back go back to yesterday's live stream when we were talking about it bro i said it in the stream bro that they could give him pierce and they gave him pierce five percent pierce damage in his skill set bro this is <laughs> yo what is this bro yo that's crazy so Anyways, when debuffed applies to self, remove all debuffs for 12 seconds. So it's kind of like the leaderships that Silver Surfer, Jean Grey, Strife, Doom, and all those guys have. But he has it for himself because he's selfish, you know. Anyways, um, stun. I just realized he's physical. Interesting. Yeah, he's, he's physical attack, eh? Interesting. Yeah, he's physical. Okay. We do need some more strong physical attack characters. I don't know what I was expecting him to be personally. Like he's hitting with a sword and stuff. So it makes sense. But whatever. When using manual control, your character will continuously attack nearby enemies. Paralyzed, stun, and then incapacitation. I'm curious to see what the animation in these skills are going to be. Okay, so enables attacking enemies. Oh, so he has iframe ignore. Then he has stun, silence paralysis so basically you can see some abx value here right with the silence and the paralysis he doesn't have burn yeah he's paralyzed on multiple skills and he has silence so you see some abx value there 
100% chance to penetrate super armor, barrier, shield, all damage, immunity, and invincibility effect, but it's two seconds. And he gains super armor and all defense. 30 second cooldown though, this is really, really long. So 15 seconds with max skill cooldown. Not something you can rely on with a proc. This gives me that um, Ghost Rider vibe. Paralysis works on World Boss 2, 1.5. Um, this cooldown time reminds me of, um, what you call it, Ghost Rider. So here's the hoping that it charges this tier three really fast. Moving on, we have Paralysis here again, and then he has Defense down and True Accumulation. It's 10%. It's 0.4 of his attack though. So yeah, that's a thing. Odin has 1%. I believe Valkyrie has 1%. Shiraga has like, is it 1.5%? Whatever. I think this is, this is the low end that Thor had. Thor has 0.6 now. So him having 0 0.4, um, is this um at level one? No, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. We'll be building him on stream and stuff. Um, so there's a uh, a heal here, kind of like Dormammu, 20% of max HP, invincibility, all attack, all defense, and then uh, attack speed and crit rate. So he's gonna be fairly easy to cap out with, in terms of stats. Cooldown time is 9 seconds here, 9 seconds here. That's actually not bad. It's going to be interesting to play with him and see how he procs. So for his um tier 3 skill, this is um the effects and how they read. King of the Dark. Okay. So we have Stun, Bind, Paralysis. Then we have 100% chance to penetrate everything for 10 seconds. And he gets invincibility for 10 seconds. 30% all attack, so not really anything like super flashy, right? And he only has one skill with defense down. Given the fact that they didn't give him defense down on his tier three, I'm assuming that the tier three just hits really hard regardless, right? So here's the hope in. Let's see what it actually looks like down here. Let's take another look at it there. Okay, it looks pretty cool. It looks pretty cool. I'm not sure if it's an iframe or not. Can't really tell. So we'll have to wait and see. And then we have uh, the growth materials. Mm-hmm. So native tier three growth materials added. New materials for the growth of native tier three heroes have been added. Cosmic cube fragments can be combined and disassembled into six different ranks. This is another thing that we spoke about on the stream. All right, this is something that we've been talking about that this is the way you're gonna rank up your uh tier three characters and this is the real reason why they actually buffed the, the rewards for null right because this is how they were going to make it so that players spend their ccf to rank up um tier three characters now so null is essentially becoming even more of a major part of the game now because if you want to rank up your tier three natives you want to play null to get the maximum amount of uh, CCF every single day. Otherwise, you're gonna have to spend a lot of money to get enough CCF because the other bosses don't drop CCF at a guaranteed rate like null does. Anyways, so let's actually take a look at it close up here and we'll actually take a look at how much it costs. So rank two Cosmic Cube Fragment, 35. 35 creates one and then um really rank two oh so for rank three you need two of the rank twos rank four you need rank three times two. yeah it's gonna cost you like jeez yo it's gonna cost you like 2000 ccf if my math is correct like looking at the numbers here it's like, especially if you just take a look at how much of each you get, assuming that you get the same amount that you invest to um, upgrade it when you downgrade it, running the numbers here and looking at the required amount for each rank, it looks like it's about 2000, 2100 around that, like just rough math in terms of what you get back if you rank them down. So it's, it's going to be a good amount of CCF 
to actually um, build up null, man. So don't expect this guy to be cheap. It'll be interesting to see if he's worth all that, though. I'll tell you that. Anyways, as native tier 3 heroes possess overwhelming powers, the cost and type of growth materials may increase or <laughs> differ compared to other heroes. May increase? So you're saying that this isn't the final product? Hello? I'm just confused. They're saying that as native tier 3 heroes possess overwhelming powers, the cost and type of growth materials may increase or differ compared to other heroes. So back, basically, even though Null is going to cost you CCF and a whole crap ton of it, we could see other native tier 3 heroes come to the game and the cost to build them is even greater or maybe something else entirely. Like instead of costing um, CCF, who knows, the next tier 3 native could just cost like Titan component packs because there's always a shortage of it. Right? That's crazy. I'm not trying to scare you guys, but... The wording here just kind of has me um, a little, you know what I'm saying, a little on edge. It may increase or differ compared to other heroes, right? Because Sentry didn't cost like this. Sentry's a native tier 3 that we got from an epic quest. Do, um, I was going to say Dormammu. Anyways, <laughs> Null is a little different because he's the first one that we're getting that we have to build up without an epic quest. So it'll be interesting to see what, to see what the, uh, the second and third or fourth and fifth tier 3 natives will look like. What did I say second and third? Like we don't already, like he's not the second. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Anyways, then we have Sif. Very disappointed with Sif. Actually, guys, I'm very disappointed with Sif. So take a look at it. 65% defense down. They basically just copied the same thing that they gave. Glorious advance. Okay. It's just BS, man. Honestly, I'm so disappointed with Sif. I, I feel like I waited for nothing. They they're not giving Sif a uniform. Right, and they basically just um, took the same awakened skill that they gave to Valkyrie and just copied her onto it. Like she's in the awakened skill, right? She's a part of it, but like the least you guys could have done. Well, I guess this is the least you could do, right? <laughs> Anyways, man, they could have given her a uniform. She's in the bloody comic run. Whatever, man. Whatever. Whatever. Anyways, so other information. Thor is getting the power cosmic tag, so you guys can stop crying now, okay? Thor is getting the power cosmic tag, yes, and he's gonna have it in World Boss, so you guys can stop crying now. It's fine, right? If only they had actually uh, fixed more than just the power cosmic tag, but hopefully people can stop crying about that. Moving on, the skill motions for Fearless Defender uniform has been improved, so that's pretty good. This is really good, or really bad, depending how you look at it. So they're kind of buffing Sentry again, right? They're, give, they're switching him from the uh, strong tag, which I believe gives him just um, 3% more attack. Yeah, I believe that's what it does. 3% more attack or something to the leadership tag, which is way better because this makes it so that you can use him with White Fox, right? So White Fox lead to buff his defense down and White Fox just offers so much more because of the 60% uh, um, extra damage to supervillain. And if you picked up the uniform, she offers you ignore dodge and all that stuff. So this is a big buff for Sentry again, <laughs> right? Because now you can use him with literally the best support character in the game. Yeah, it's crazy. Anyways, they have a couple other things here that um, are game fixes, which it's all good. Um, I'm not gonna waste your time going over that. You can read that on your own time. I'm kind of sad that we're not getting a uniform for Sif. But hey, I guess it saves us some crystals, right? It is what it is. Leave me your thoughts in the comments, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Hold up. Before you go, guys, I actually want to point this out. I was going to let y'all read it on your own time, but I'm actually going to point this out for you. The issue with the growth materials required for enhancing potential of Molecule Man being applied differently than planned has been fixed. So in case you didn't know, Molecule Man, the cost to build him should have been that of a tier 2 native like um silver surfer um doctor doom strife etc right characters that cost black antimatter that you get at the end of the uh epic quest like um gladiator but however the cost of leveling them up from 60 to 70 has been and still is the same as a normal tier 2 character so not a tier 2 native just a normal tier 2 character like for example thor to get him from um level 60 to level 70 it's the same if you were just to go to 100% on the uh, potential every single time. It's the same 
for Molecule Man. However, they're actually going to make it what it was supposed to be from the beginning, which was higher, like double, not light double, double, right? So if you want to actually tier three Molecule Man, you better make sure you do this before the pass gets applied because the cost for Molecule Man is going to be doubled after this pass goes into effect, okay? Very important. I don't want to point, I do want to point that out. Also, um, they're um fixing an issue with Thor where his um chain hit damage can now be stacked with his ATP of energy. But this is more important. So if you wanted to build Molecule Man, my man, Owen Reese, make sure you do that before the pass gets applied. All right? Because otherwise, double the gold, double the black antimatter, half the fun. And he's not even that good right now. So you definitely want to figure it out before this happens. I think even if you never see yourself using him, it's probably best to uh, cash in on this while you can. Just saying, because eventually he will get buffed or you'll get a uniform or something. And then you don't have to pay double costs. So keep that in mind. I'm gone.